Hey, it's more important than ever to be minding your business, so let's do that this morning. Cryptocurrency, well, the most basic definition of it is that it's a digital currency that can be used to buy goods and services, unregulated by a third party. Yeah, people are like, crypto what? Crypto what? Yeah, it's a, a foreign concept to use a currency not backed by a government, so some stay away from it. Not to mention, it's not exactly easy to understand, but like most technology, some teens out there jumping right into this. At first. Mm-hmm. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live now. And Jenny, you talk to a 19-year-old who says, bring it on. Absolutely. You know, there was a recent study of 7,000 teenagers done by an investment firm that shows 9% of them have already dabbled in cryptocurrency. And that's pretty significant when you consider it's a currency that many of us are still struggling to understand. Well, 19-year-old Romeo Hill is one of those investors, and he is excited about the future. As I've come more and more to understand it, uh, I've put more and more faith into crypto. And not only do I invest in it as like a, a financial mover, but I, I kind of see it as the future of finance. When this economics major got his stimulus check last year, he took that money and invested it in cryptocurrency. And he quickly made a couple thousand dollars. Hill had studied it for a while before investing. Uh, they have fixed inflationary or deflationary rates, and it's all very extremely transparent. Um, there's a blockchain ledger for each of them, where you can see every single transaction and how much goes to what address, etc. Hill thinks more people should invest, but not before doing a ton of research and at least having a basic understanding of how it works and how to store it safely. I've understood it enough. I've learned about it enough where I, I trust it more than U.S. dollars, you know, I, and I, I want to pay my rent in crypto. I want to get paid in crypto and I want to buy my groceries in crypto. And I really see that in the future. So get this, Hill's mother is a financial planner. So when he told her that he was going to be investing in cryptocurrency, she was a little bit skeptical. But he says she started doing some research and then she wound up making a significant investment as well. So it's interesting to see as we learn more about this, what will happen, Caitlin? Yeah, more and more people diving in. Hey, cryptocurrency has become a word that we're hearing more, of course, especially when it comes to investing in stocks. So it's a type of currency that really only exists electronically, like Jenny kind of explained there. You don't need a bank to exchange it. While there's no physical money, you can sometimes cash in that currency for real tokens. But the question is, how do you get it? Well, you will need a digital wallet. Most groups have you create an account on an exchange and then you can transfer real U.S. dollars to buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum. The FTC says cryptocurrency doesn't come with legal protections like your credit card does in case of fraudulent activity. And cryptocurrency payments are not reversible. So once that payment is made, it's gone. 